it's a worldwide problem for all of us. Your favorite beverage mixing up with all that icy water and now the taste of the soda is pretty much gone. So today we are building a contraption that doesn't require any ice and will leave your drink coldish. Let's gather the parts. Hey guys, I hope you are doing great. I'm sorry for my low energy today, I'm a bit sick. Uh, but today is all very experimental. I mean, I'm pretty confident it works. It's just a question of how well will it work. Imagine you want to enjoy a cold beverage, you don't have access to ice, and I guess you could pop it in the freezer, but it would still take forever. So here is what I'm thinking. We grab two of these giant heat sinks and we put two Peltier or Peltier, however you want to pronounce that, on top of there and then we put a water block on top of the Peltier modules. Just connect all the wires to a power supply, this one I stole from one of my 3D printers and use a tubing to connect the water block, this one, to the bottle that contains the liquid just like this. And we also need a second tubing that goes into the bottle and the other end is connected to this water pump, no air pump. And the pump generates a pressure inside the bottle that makes the soda travel through the tubing into the water block. And this one just fell down into that blue thing, goes all the way through and out comes hopefully beautiful, cold, delicious Coke. I mean, you also see a lot of people doing like a feedback loop into the bottle again and the problem with that is that it just takes so much longer time because you have to uh, wait for the entire bottle to cool down instead of just a small portion, which is what I believe is 90% of the times what you are going for anyways. Now if this wouldn't cut it, we can very easily add a third, a smaller version of this water block just to add even more cooling to the system. Mm, okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's do this. bit more clear in case it isn't already. This air pump pumps air into this bottle which generates a pressure inside that makes the coke go from the bottle to this water block over here and travels through the water block and then out into this glass. And what's going on here is we have two Peltier modules which is uh, thermoelectric heat pumps which transfers heat from one side to another. And this is why we have these two giant heat sinks over here because we want to remove as much heat as possible to obtain the lowest of temperatures up here. And all of this is powered by a power supply here that I will plug in right now. Okay, so all we have to do is wait for five, maybe 10 minutes, and this should be a whole lot colder. Let's wait for it. Okay. 
You could make a snowball out of all that snow. That's cold. Negative 17.5. Holy, that's cold. So I have the air pump wired to a switch. So whenever I press it, it activates and start pumping. Oh, oh, I was close. We have 20.6 in the room and the coke has been out here all day. So it really should be the same. 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, test number one, let's go. Oh, that's too fast. That's way too fast. I think that could be a problem if the coke is running all the way through the water block very quickly, it doesn't have time to cool down. So I attach these two shimmy shims just to slow down that flow and hopefully that will give us better results. But we did reach 12 degrees Celsius. So there is definitely potential in this. Slower flow, test number two, let's do it. Okay, so this time we are down to 9 degrees Celsius. Mm. Well, actually, let me do a quick taste test. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I think that's very promising results. We dropped 11 degrees from 20 to 9. So let's add the second, the smaller water block to the system and hopefully that will give us the results we are looking for. I am connecting the third Peltier module to a completely separate power supply because we are already overloading the first one. So we better, we better distribute that workload. Each Peltier is a hundred watts. So we have a 300 watt system here running at 12 volts. So that would equal to Six and a half hours later. Yeah, 25 amps. So it's like the least inefficient way of doing... No. No, it's like the least efficient way of doing this. But it's one way and it's a lot of fun working with all that stuff. So here we go. Okay, so the modifications we have done is added a flow limiter. We have added even more cooling to the system. I've also placed a GoPro down here to record the temperature. And we are aiming for the lowest of temperatures this time. Uh, so yeah, basically anything under 9 degrees Celsius is a win. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's hope for the best. Okay, I can see the ice melting. Okay, and there we have a beautiful glass of Coke. Now let's see the temperature. Okay, I can see the ice melting. There we have a beautiful glass of coke. Now let's see the temperature. Okay, so it's down to eight degrees Celsius, seven degrees Celsius. Is it gonna go any lower? No, no, it's not gonna go any lower. Okay, so I guess seven degrees Celsius is the end result. Let's give this a taste test. Very nice. So we went from 20 degrees all the way down to 7 degrees and that's a drop of 13 degrees Celsius, which I think is respectable. It might not be the ice cold drink, 
that everyone dreams about, but it's good enough. Clearly, it's good enough. Ah, beautiful. I mean, what we have made is a soda dispenser, but we also went to the next level and added a feature that allows us to cool the drink. And, I mean, I mean isn't that what we have always dreamed of? <laughs> I'll definitely make a second video of this project with a more polished version of this. Uh, I want to wait for the giant cooling block that I had to pre-order. But that's it for today. I hope you did enjoy watching this and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you again very very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.